Alright, this is the second lecture for enzymes. We'll be looking at the factors affecting the rate of enzymatic reaction. Okay, so there are four factors mentioned in the learning outcome. They are the enzyme and substrate concentrations, temperature and pH. Okay, so at any one time, right, one of these factors would be the limiting factor. Okay, so at any one time, right, all four factors are in play, right? So when there is an enzymatic reaction, there's obviously a substrate, so a particular substrate concentration, there's always an enzyme, a particular enzyme concentration, there's always a temperature and a pH right, of the reaction mixture. So all four factors are present uh, in an enzymatic reaction, but only one would be the limiting factor. For example, for example, right, maybe there's ample substrate and ample enzymes, right, enough of both. Maybe the pH is also very good pH, very optimal pH, but the temperature is very low. Okay, so the reaction is very slow. So the temperature is the limiting factor in this case. Alright, so at any one time, one factor is the limiting factor that limits the rate of reaction. Right, so in order to increase the rate of reaction, the particular limiting factor, the value needs to be changed. So in my example just now, because the temperature was too low, right, we should increase the temperature to increase the rate of reaction. Okay, so we will look at the enzyme concentration first. So at low enzyme concentration, right, this, that means that there are a lot more substrate molecules than enzyme molecules. So at any one time, right, the enzyme is always bound with substrates. So when that happens, right, it is known as enzyme saturation. The enzymes are saturated. So enzymes are already working at the maximum rate. They are always working, right? At any one time, they are bound to the substrate. Reaction occurs, products leave, another substrate will bind. Right? Because there is so much more substrate than enzymes. Okay, so the enzyme concentration is limiting when the enzyme concentration is low. When the enzyme concentration is increased, right, because there are more enzymes available now, then the effective collision between enzyme and substrate would obviously increase, therefore having a higher rate of formation of enzyme substrate complex, and that increases the rate of reaction. But when the enzyme concentration continues to increase until it becomes high, that means that there would be more enzyme molecules than substrate molecules. So when that happens, the substrate concentration becomes the limiting factor. Right? There is already too much of the enzyme. Right? So there are some enzymes that do not have substrates to bind to at any one time because there's now more enzymes than substrate. Okay, so further increase in the concentration of the enzyme would not increase the rate of reaction. Right? The enzyme concentration is no longer the limiting factor. It is now the substrate concentration. Okay, so if you plot a graph of the rate of reaction in increasing enzyme concentration, this is what you will get. Right? When the enzyme concentration is low, increasing the enzyme concentration increases the rate of reaction. As we, have, as we have explained just now. And when the enzyme concentration is high, right, increasing the enzyme concentration does not increase the rate of reaction. The rate of reaction remains constant. Okay? So a question here, right? At the high concentration of enzyme, when the rate of reaction remains constant, how can we further increase the rate of reaction? Right, so remember we talked about in order to increase the rate of reaction we must change the value of the limiting factor. Right, so the limiting factor when enzyme concentration is high is the substrate concentration, right? So in order to increase the rate of reaction, we need to increase the substrate concentration. Okay? Right, that would be the first factor, enzyme concentration.